Hey, hey, everybody. Uh, it's Wednesday, July 19th, 20th. I don't know. I think it's the 19th because on the 21st, Splatoon 2 comes out. Uh, anyway, uh, the fat man is back in Vegas after taking uh, about a week off and going to vacation. <clears throat> Took the family to, uh, what is that state next to us? California. Took them out there. Everybody had a grand old time. Uh, went to the beach for a couple of days. And uh, <clears throat> everybody, except for the two-year-old, got sunburned. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it, I'm able to touch my shoulders again. My head is all one color instead of three. Uh, by far, my, uh, my almost 12-year-old nephew got the worst of it. Um, but I think he's recovering just fine as well. <clears throat> anyway, on the last night that we were there, took the wife to downtown Disney where we walked around. Um, I bought everybody a gift uh, for myself and my wife. We decided that we're uh, collecting those Disney pins that they sell. So every time we make a trip out there to uh, Disney or even just downtown Disney, you know, spending tw you know, 10 to $15 and getting one of those pins just to be like, oh, do you remember our trip this time? All that stuff. So this is our second pin because we just came up with it last time. Um, I bought the uh, the two-year-old a Cars 3 playset, and uh, he loves it. He takes it everywhere. Um, you know, he's obsessed with not only Cars movie cars, but Cars cars, cars that go vroom, vroom, vroom. And he, he loves buses because there's wheels and they go round and round, Daddy, round and round. Um, other than that, uh, the two 12-year-olds... Um, I caved in and I tried to be a nice guy and I bought them Disney fidget spinners that uh, have LED lights and they look all pretty and all kinds of weird happy shit about that stuff so uh, but here we are now back to the daily grind uh, I may have uh, said something to my wife that I'm gonna have trouble keeping but I'm doing it I've got the willpower I think it's gonna be okay um, when we went to California, the morning that we drove out, I had an energy drink because I get tired during long drives. You know, I'm old, I'm lazy, and I just I just get tired, man. I, I just want to go to sleep, and nobody else wants to drive. So I had an energy drink on the way out, and uh, um, that was the only energy drink I had that entire week. I didn't drink one coming back. I just had myself a Mountain Dew. Uh, I had a couple of sodas while we were out there, but nothing overly bad you know just like oh hey it's dinner time let's have a soda type of deal but didn't have a whole lot so I told the wife that uh once we came back I was going to try to do a week with no sodas and energy drinks now a week doesn't seem like a long time and I figured if I can go that week then obviously I can go longer you know the first step is that week just with none I don't know what type of reward I'm gonna give myself if I make it but I was not thinking when I said it because uh, as I come back last night tonight and tomorrow night I'm uh, doing something I normally don't do and that's I'm working overnight to try to get the place ready for inventory ah so working overnight not being able to suck on a soda or a rock star uh, yeah, last night sucked, guys. I'd like to say that I took it like a trooper, but, man, two in the morning, and I just felt myself crashing. Um, so, I've got myself some energy supplements, but really, it's that sweet, sweet soda nectar that I like to suck on. Uh, Mountain Dew pretty much is the nectar of the gods for me. I've been uh, drinking it by the gallon since high school, and... Uh, it's difficult for me to stop and, and really rock stars are just the new sodas to me uh, there have been times where I drink two or three a day which I hear is bad for you but you know I'm old who gives a shit but I'm trying I'm trying cut it out cut it out I figure if I can cut this stuff out I will uh, I will lose a good amount of water retention weight or whatever the hell they call it so yeah so I started um, my day back, I was at 264, so we'll see where I'm going to be in a week. You know, my whole goal is to get back to my wedding weight in time for my wife and I's fifth year anniversary when I take her to Hawaii again. 
so yeah so anyway uh last night it went well after all was said and done but i i was dead tired the the ride home at six in the morning sucked and today ah, i'm tired it's afternoon i slept about six hours so that's enough to keep me going but man two in the morning i feel like two in the morning is gonna suck no matter what so anyway like i said i got myself some energy supplements um the first thing i got is i have some crystal lights from my water they have the energy crystal light type stuff which isn't too bad i have like a mango peach flavor or something it's uh not really that delicious but put a little caffeine in my body and do it with water instead of carbonated calories and i think i'm good there uh the other thing is the guy at work got me hooked on it's called x mode uh basically i it, it's pretty much just a five hour energy thing but you buy it off amazon and you get yourself like uh, if you do the two ounce shot and believe me i have no clue how many uh how many grams of caffeine or how many milligrams or however they're measuring it i just need to do a line of coke to keep myself up you know what i'm saying Woo! oh anyway yeah so for like 30 dollars you get yourself 52 ounce shots look that that's not bad i i don't think the uh the five hour energies are two ounces and you're paying what like three to four dollars for one of those so this stuff is a lot a lot more economically feasible so yeah so i got that uh the first time i bought it i bought the cherry which was pretty delicious i'm not gonna lie um i enjoyed it every once in a while i would put one in my mountain dew <laughs> yep caffeine on top of caffeine i'm fucking hooked guys i'm an addict um the other thing i would do sometimes is while you know slowly cutting out sodas and energy drinks before this is I just uh, dump one into a Gatorade. That way I'm, I'm getting my healthier drink in and a little bit of energy over the course of it as well. So anyway, back to X mode. They sent me a coupon for, I don't know, 5%, 10% off, whatever it is, it worked out to be just a couple of bucks and a couple of dollars is a couple of dollars, but they had a new tangerine flavor that came out. So the guy at work got it, said he liked it, and I'm like, okay, I'll try it. Here's what I want to tell you about this tangerine flavor, and I haven't had a lot of it yet. Um, you know, I had a shot or two of it yesterday um, to keep me going overnight, and I brought bringing a couple of shots to work tonight as well because I'm going to need it. So um, it tastes like tastes like fucking cough syrup guys like i'm not gonna lie like i taste this and like i have flashbacks to when i was young drinking god knows whatever that medicine that thick syrupy disgusting i don't want to take this i'd rather die and suffer and be miserable for the next six days cough syrup taste so yeah it's not the greatest and i i think honestly that's probably something i need because it's going to help keep me off of the energy drinks because i'm not just going to let it go to waste i spent good money on it and i'm a cheap bastard um so then with also a nice side effect of cutting out the energy drinks and the sodas is this will give me a little bit more free money now, so the one thing that I have been doing while uh, my wife and I started it when we were working on becoming debt free is I would just give myself an allowance out of every check. I have so much money I can spend and it has to last me till the next check. If it, if I run out, I run out and I can't buy anything. Uh, so that includes if I wanted to say go out to lunch instead of pack my lunch. Uh, if I wanted to have like a couple of sodas during the day or something like that that's what this money's for so if i'm not buying energy drinks and sodas every day like i do then this is going to give me a lot more money and i'll be able to save up for stuff you know stuff like they have that splatoon 2 pro controller that's coming out 
Uh, the good news is that comes out on payday. So if any of the GameStops have it, I was thinking of trading in my Pro Controller to get that because it looks pretty cool. But I would like to be able to save up because if they're doing this for Splatoon 2, you know damn well they're going to have a Mario one for when Odyssey comes out. Um, you know, maybe they're going to have a Rabbids one that's all decked out for the Mario vs. Rabbids or whatever it is. But, you know, Mario Odyssey, that's, that's the pro controller I'm aiming for. And I think it's going to be sweet. And I'm really hoping, you know, they have a red side, a green side, and then the Mario and the Luigi symbols. And that would just make me happy. So happy together. Love that golden honey and graham cracker taste of golden grahams. I don't know, sometimes the, uh, my past, it's, uh, commercials, they rush back to me. I don't watch a whole lot of TV now, but, ooh, I love the jingles, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so anyway, yeah, that about sums up my last week. Um, I'm trying to get focused. If my wife and I could spend the amount of time that we did paying off our debt and just being focused to get everything done, and then saving up our emergency fund. And now we're saving up to put a down payment on a house. If I can put that type of energy and focus into other aspects of my life, well, I'm gonna be a better person. So that's what I'm working on. Weight loss, that's the big one. Like I said, I started this week at 264 pounds. I'm a big fat ass, guys. Uh, it's not the heaviest I've ever been, but I sure as shit let myself go after, after our wedding and then after the birth of our baby. So, I'm going to get that back down. I'm going to get back down to 220 at the at the highest, 220. Um, I'd like to get down to 200, maybe under. I haven't been under 200 since I was probably four. I don't know. I think I was just born fat. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not fat because of any stupid reason. I'm fat because I love the taste of food. I'm not... Am I going off on a tangent? I, I don't know really where I'm going with any of this. Maybe I need to script it. Anyway, so yeah. So... Bam, money situation taken care of. Get the weight taken care of. Let's do this, guys. I'm all up, I'm all about self-improvement. I need to get myself in a better place because uh, mentally I have not been in a good place lately. So I think this will help. Anyway, um, I think I've rambled enough. I know I didn't really touch on video games or anything, but I didn't play a whole lot. I hung out with the family we went to the pool we went to the beach and I took my wife to downtown Disney um oh yeah before I go uh we're also planning on uh during the Halloween season taking a trip to uh Disney with the children because they do a trick-or-treat thing so there'd be a couple hours of actually Disneyland and rides from what I understand and then there's like this whole big trick-or-treat thing where uh, they give you so much candy that you can pretty much sugar overdose an entire football team or two so that'll be pretty cool my fat ass can uh, handle getting some extra chocolate if you know what I'm saying so uh, that's gonna be one of my motivations if I can get down to a certain weight by that point I'm a pig out oh goodness yeah I'm gonna pig out guys uh, anyway this has been uh, Serge the grouchy one uh, this is the daily dump I don't know what episode it is but I'll figure that out before I post this on YouTube um, I'm gonna try to do this a little bit more often I'm gonna try to record a couple of segments during the day and edit them together and uh, you know at the end of my night just upload it so all you pretty people can look at me in the morning I hope you're all having a good week. I hope you're all having a good summer. And I hope you're all uh, rocking out on the video games. Uh, hit me up in the, uh, the chat section. Let me know. What do you want me to talk about? Uh, what area, you know, how, how do you want me to focus this thing? Because I'm really just all about rambling and talking because I like the sound of my own voice. But, yeah, let's do this self-improvement journey, guys, starting now. Um, also, I'm going to start posting on my blog once in a while, and I'll, I'll give you that information once I start doing it. But, you know, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and if uh, anybody out there needs some motivation on weight loss, hook those guys up with this, because maybe not this one, but I'm going to start talking about it. I'm going to start talking about it on a regular basis, and at least once a week, I'm going to give you my fat ass update, where I sit, did I lose, did I gain, what's going on? How big is my belly and how small is it going to be? Okay, the fat man signing off. 
uh, the daily dump with no toilet, but peace!